Hello everybody. Did you know that according to wire.co.uk, nearly 70% of the world's fastest supercomputers use NVIDIA technology? Hello everyone, my name is Kai Tamarata. Today, we're diving into the incredible journey of Jensen Huang, the co-founder and CEO of NVIDIA. With almost 70% of these supercomputers relying on his technology, Huang has truly shaped the industry. And today, we'll uncover what makes him such a tech visionary. As co-founder and CEO of NVIDIA, a visionary leader renowned for revolutionizing graphics processing units and driving advancement in AI technology, his innovative approach, strategic vision, and incredible commitment to his craft uh, has transformed NVIDIA and has left a mark on the global landscape of AI technology. First, let's start by exploring how Jensen Huang's innovations transformed GPUs, making a significant impact on supercomputing. Next, we'll dig into Huang's unique leadership style and what, makes, what he has done to elevate NVIDIA in computing and AI. Finally, we'll discuss why I chose Jensen Huang and uh, the qualities that he possesses that I admire so much. Now let's begin. Huang's groundbreaking work has not only transformed GPUs, but, has also, uh, but also had a profound impact on supercomputing. By advancing, reshaping, and boosting the performance of these GPUs. For instance, according to the New Yorker, uh, the AI that everybody here is familiar with, such as the GPT models, use NVIDIA supercomputers as their training, uh, training computers. NVIDIA, since then, have uh, been on back order for all these computers as of November 2023. Since then, they've come out with new AI training modules uh, for these AI training. Besides being an innovator, Huang's distinctive leadership and strategic vision has played a crucial role in lifting NVIDIA and the company itself. Now that we have, now that we have an idea on Huang's innovations and how it has transformed supercomputing, let's turn to some of his unique leadership strategies. Huang's strategic vision has been a driving force behind NVIDIA. Success in computing and AI, uh, shaping the, com the company as it is and in this ever-evolving world. At the core, Huang emphasizes in an interview with Harvard Business Review the significance of understanding the fundamentals of one's own work and the value of being surrounded by experts in the art. The, the emphasis on fundamentals uh, and the understanding that he has of the AI industry uh, and the decision making that he makes around these fundamentals create a deep comp uh, show a deep comprehension in the industry itself. In the same interview, Huang unders underscores the critical need for information to be freely moving within his company. This allows for him and his workers uh, to have a quick and effective uh, communication of all the knowledge. This commitment, in, uh, this commitment to information uh, and the free flow of it uh, reflects Huang's awareness of the fast-paced nature of the tech industry and the necessity for the company to stay informed. As we enter our final segment, uh, I would like to shift from the discussion of Huang's professional life to more of a personal perspective. I want to share with you all why I chose Jason Huang for this discussion today and the qualities that I admire so deeply. Over the past few years, I've been using NVIDIA products searching for and as well as searching for a career path post university. I sought for a professional role model uh, who is journey, whose journey will had aligned with mine. This quest to find somebody has became very easy once I found his speech that he gave during at the Oregon State University. According to engineering.oregon.edu, he described uh, his experience starting his university life as a kid ready to study electrical engineering. One of the most memorable quotes from that speech of his was when he said, 
You shouldn't do anything that you don't love. You should only work on things in your life that matter. Since then, I have deeply reflected on this quote and I've acted accordingly since then. I've been focusing on things in my life that truly are meaningful to me. In addition to learning about his success, I also learned from his past. According to jdsuper.edu.com, Jason Huang had a, uh, was an immigrant from Taiwan. He came to the U.S. alone with his little brother. Uh, he, then he only knew a few words in English. From there, I drew parallels in my life and his, and I truly admire him as a business professional. Huang's immigrant journey not only adds depth to his character, but also serves as motivation for me. He's a role model who, who shows that true success is achievable uh, through hard work and perseverance. As we come to a close, I really hope that I revealed who Jason Huang really is. Today, we've talked about a man that shows that has showed that it is not just about the tech breakthroughs, but it's about uh, it's about a story of leadership and personal inspiration. We've started with GPUs to supercomputing, then moved into Huang's NVIDIA highlights and his leadership skills in NVIDIA, and then dove into a more personal side where I showed how admiring he is to me. As you go home today, uh, think about Huang's words. Do what you love and work on what matters. Let's carry that align and align it with our passion with purpose and make our mark on this ever-evolving tech world. Thank you.